Hey, Alex. Um, thank you so much for booking this. I love your name. Um, that is my sister's name, so you have a very, very good name. Um, I can't believe you've seen 911 Nightmare. That's amazing. I shot that many moons ago. That was a very fun experience because I never thought anyone would take me seriously as a cop, and yet somehow they did, which was awesome. And then I never thought anyone would take me seriously as a doctor, and yet they kind of do, sort of, I guess. Um, <laughs> I love that you're a fan of The Good Doctor and that you love Morgan's confidence and um, her storylines. Uh, she is the most incredible character that I have ever gotten to play. Um, it's so cool getting to play someone who's so intelligent, driven, and strong. Um, I think female roles in general just keep getting better and better, and I'm so excited that I get to play this one. Um, I remember thinking when I read the sides, I was just like so obsessed with her and I worked crazy hard. I only had 17 hours to prepare for the part and that include, includes sleeping time. Um, I got the sides at like four o'clock at night um, and then my audition was the next day at like 11 a.m. So um, I did not have a lot of time. I had like seven pages of um, sides to learn and some of them were like full just monologues of me talking about medical stuff. So um, it was a lot of prep work and then somehow I booked it, which is, you know, amazing. So, um, yeah, I, uh, I love, I love being a good doctor. Um, you know, we are all just like one big happy family, which is cool because most sets, you know, sometimes you like hear rumors about sets being like difficult or actors, but like, honestly, most sets are great. Um, you know, but what's rare, I think, is when everyone like really hangs out and is really a family, which is what we have. And I think that really translates to the show. I think you can see our chemistry, that since we're all friends outside of work, um, I think it really kind of plays into what you see on camera. Um, but uh, you asked what some of my favorite memories were, and I would say um, <laughs> one of, uh, a lot of them have to do with Antonia. She um, plays uh, Dr. Claire Brown, and she's one of my like, good friends. Um, and uh, she and I, when our first day of filming, you know, Morgan is not the friendliest person. Like, she's not the easiest person to get along with. And in the first episode, when she's meeting Claire, she's like so standoffish, and she's like, "We're not going to be friends. We're not going to be braiding each other's hairs at slumber parties." Like, she's not a friendly person. And I kept apologizing to Antonia. I kept being like, "I'm so sorry. I'm not really trying to be mean to you. I hope you know that." And she would just be like. Yeah, I know, you're acting. Like, and I felt so stupid, but I just was like, it was so uncomfortable, like, being mean to her and other people. But now it's a little bit more fun because now, like, we all know each other, and so I don't worry about ever hurting people's feelings. I hate upsetting people or hurting people's feelings. I never, ever like to make anybody feel bad. So, um, so anyways, um, and then another time Antonia and I were um, doing a scene in season three, it's like the beginning of season three, when this a giant fish explodes. Um, I'm, I'm hoping you've made it there. I hope that's not a spoiler. Um, but anyways, so when we're filming, Antonia and I have to run from the imaging room into um, where the MRI or CAT scan is, is happening. And we run in and the floor was so wet from the, like, the fish exploding that we ran in and we just fell out of frame and we literally both fell on the ground and then we both got up and we were just cracking up. I have, I actually have footage of this that I have to like play. I know that they have one angle of it and it's in the bloopers that they're going to be um, releasing for um, the season three DVDs, but the footage I have, I think is actually even a better angle, but um, <laughs> I ran the video village and like filmed it afterwards. Cause I was like, this is crazy. I can't believe that happened. It was so funny. And Tony and I could just like not stop laughing. Um, but it's, it's like, it's, it's such a great family. Like we, we're always cracking each other up. Like sometimes, um, Christina and I and Will get in a lot of trouble <laughs> for laughing too much, especially Christina and I, um, we're little troublemakers. Um, and you asked who my favorite scene partner is. Um, that's a hard one. Um, because I genuinely love everyone. Um, like we all literally all hang out after work. Like today I was talking to Hill and the other day I was talking with Will and um, Nick um, who plays um, Dr. Uh, Melinda is like his family and my family, like we're very, very close. We um, were, we're like super, super close friends. Um, and then Antonia and Christina and I are also extremely close, although they're not in town, although we're all quarantined right now. So um, <laughs> it wouldn't matter anyways. Um, even though I'm missing them. But, um, so I don't know, it's hard to say like who my favorite scene partner is. 
it, what's really cool about the show is that um, the way it kind of is written is you'll do a few episodes with one person and then you do a few episodes with somebody else. And so um, it's cool. Like I'll do a few episodes with Antonia and then I'm missing Christina and then we get to do it a couple episodes together. And then I get to do a couple with Will. And so it's really fun um, how that is. Like you get little pockets with different people. And then, you know, sometimes Antonia and I are like, we haven't worked together in a month. So then we have to like hang out outside of work to catch up on everything. Um, but yeah, so I don't know if I have a favorite scene partner because I love everyone and it's always cool just getting that one-on-one -on -one time with them. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a really, it's a really cool show to work on. Uh, the doctors, the medical stuff is definitely a challenge. Whenever I have like a big medical speech or complicated words to work on, I generally will try to memorize it about a week ahead of time. If it's like the, the medical words themselves, if I can, I try to have it down by the table read. Um, which seems like it'd be easy, but we shoot about 70 hours. I mean, I'm working about like 50 to 70 hours a week filming. And then on top of that, have to learn, read the scripts and learn the lines outside of that. So I have very little time outside of work. So, um, you know, sometimes I, I can't get all my lines down, um, ahead of time for the table read, if that, if that makes sense. Um, anyways, um, so, uh, I, what was I saying? I try to have my lines down or my, the medical terms learned before the table read, but not always. Um, and then with um, learning the medical stuff, um, I will watch surgeries or read about them online, really try to understand the procedures, what I'm doing, what I'm gonna be talking about, because otherwise it's, it's like impossible to learn the words because it's like a made up language to me since I'm not a doctor and I haven't studied it. So having an understanding of what I'm saying helps me to learn it very quickly. Um, we also have medical advisors on set. Um, we have this woman, Susie, who um, is a nurse. She's been a nurse for many years and she's there every single day and she's making sure we're doing everything correctly. Um, and then when we do the surgeries, we have real nurses in the surgeries with us. So when you see us handing off medical equipment to people, those are real life nurses that just really like being on the show. So they're with us and they'll make sure we're doing things correctly and all that. So that's really cool. And um, we film on like seven sound stages, which is incredible. Like these huge, massive warehouse -y type structures and um one of them is three long which they knocked down the wall between three different um sound stages and built the hospital basically so sometimes we'll do these walk and talks from one end to the other and it's like a good like three to five minute scene where we literally go we start the scene and we don't stop until we get to the end of the walkway and there's a camera person in front of us walking backwards like trying to film us and hope he doesn't walk into something which you know Sometimes they do. <laughs> um, and uh, so you really don't wanna mess up your lines. Um, we, uh, speaking of lines, we have to be like completely word perfect on the show. We don't get to improvise anything or, you know, say things wrong. Sometimes though, in the surgeries, we have masks on, but we are saying our lines. Um, but you can kind of make mistakes. I, I, don't, I, I can't make mistakes. Like I freak out and get really stressed if I do, but you can, there is the opportunity to fix them there so you don't have to like freak out. But um, but yeah, so anyways, and then, oh, one other really cool thing about our sets um, are that we have like real hospital beds, real hospital equipment. We have all of that stuff and it really just helps you to feel like you're really a doctor and like play that pretend, like it just, um, that element really helps us. Um, and it's fun, like we're using real stethoscopes and using real, um, you know, bandages, gloves, all that kind of stuff. Um, it's a really cool thing, so. Anyways, um, and yeah, by the way, thanks for commenting on Morgan's storyline this season. It was such a gift to get to play such an awesome storyline. Um, you know, I've heard from a lot of people that are suffering from autoimmune disease and rheumatoid arthritis and how the storyline has really given them hope and been inspirational to them, and all, you know, just feeling represented and um, the reality and the struggles of it. And I've learned a lot from playing Morgan and um, all of her different um, struggles this season. And it's been a real honor getting to play that. So um, anyways, um, I'm sure I have blabbed on way too long and I don't know how much of it made sense. I apologize, I'm sorry. But um, anyways, thank you so much, Alex. I hope you're having a great day and I hope you and your loved ones are safe through all of this. All right, bye.